In this video, I'm going to break down my top five reasons why most moms should not build a huge freezer stash for going back to work. This is one of the things that I am so passionate about because I see it affect so many moms and cut their breastfeeding journey way shorter than they had ever planned. Now next week I will be doing a video on why you should build a freezer stash and some moms really should build a huge freezer stash and I'm going to go over who those moms are. Are you ready mommy? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> For most of you, a freezer stash should be for emergency use only. Now an emergency would be something like if you had to be away from baby unexpectedly or if you had to start a medication that wasn't compatible for breastfeeding. My top five reasons for not building a freezer stash are number five, your mental health. It is so stressful to try to build this huge freezer stash and to worry about if that's going to be enough to carry you through when you go back to work. You're already probably under a lot of stress just being a new mommy and you don't need to add any more stress to your life. Number four, the time it takes to pump. It's so time consuming to add some extra pumping in between feeding baby from the breast, especially for a newborn and a new mommy. Your time is so valuable. You could be spending time with baby, enjoying baby, you're home on your maternity leave, you might not have very long, and you want to make the best of that time with baby. You could also be resting or doing something you enjoy for that time instead of being attached to a breast pump. Number three, a clogged duct, which can lead to mastitis. If you aren't able to pump on a regular schedule after you've gotten that schedule going, say you get busy one day and you miss pumping set some time or you don't pump as long or as often as you normally do, it can increase your chances greatly of getting a clogged duct, which can lead to mastitis, which can be very painful and even serious. Number two, fresh is best. When your breast milk is frozen, it starts to lose some of the nutrients. Now your frozen breast milk will still be absorbed into baby's body and have more nutrients than formula. And I'm not anti-formula. For some families, that's the best choice and it's a great alternative to breast milk. But you probably are breastfeeding because you know that breast milk is the very best for your baby. But when it's frozen, it does start to break down and lose some of the nutrients that it once had. And the biggest part of having it frozen is that it loses the immunological properties. So it's not able to help baby fight illnesses as well as it did when it was fresh. Now my number one reason why most moms should not build a huge freezer stash for going back to work is because it can cut your breastfeeding journey way shorter than you had ever planned. If baby's away from you during the day and you're not pumping as often as baby eats, your supply will go down. If you want to still breastfeed baby all day during the day on your days off, then you need to be pumping as often as baby eats. It's a supply and demand thing. If you're not removing that amount of milk and around the same time that baby eats, your supply will drop. Next week, I'll be doing a video on why you should build a huge freezer stash because there are a few moms who that is a good choice for, and we'll go over that then. If this has been helpful for you at all, could you give me a quick thumbs up so that this gets shared to other mommies? If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to get back to you just as soon as possible. I want you to be the most successful you can at breastfeeding, and I want your breastfeeding journey to last as long as you and baby would like it to. Thanks a lot, mommy. You got this. <laughs>